Hello there, I thought today I'd have a quick look at a, another one of the many BBSs out there that are running Mystic BBS and today we're heading to Australia. That's right, Australia and the system is called DataNet. It's run by a system operator who goes by the handle of Reaps and has just recently started up again and by recently I'd say within the last two or three months from the time that I've recorded this video. Um, if you log into the system, you are presented with, um, I'll just turn that bar off, a nice customized one-liner screen, which I may well just add to because I'm here. I think I left it, left it under the couch. Because I can. So there you go, Avon left a message. I think I left it under the couch. After that we get uh, what looks like a splash screen for one of the many games that are available on the board. Now on Dartnet BBS we've got Food Fight. That's pretty cool. And then we have a look at who's been logging in and you can see we've had users, well I've come in from Dunedin, New Zealand, uh, Monica from Dallas, Texas, Necromaster from New Bedford, uh, Tensor from New York City and so it goes. And here we have the main menu for Dartnet systems and on this screen some nice customizations being done using um, custom ANSI menu. Uh, you can also use the um, bracket keys. You can keep an eye on the center of the screen here where it says user Avon online one minute. If I use these keys you can see it changes to the chat menu so there's like a toggle option there. Um, down the bottom it's also got some customised work so I can see that the system's based in Melbourne, Australia. Currently it's 18.9 degrees Celsius and clear. Very nice. Um, let's take a look around see what we can see. Uh, we've obviously got the, the user listing so we can always have a look at who's on and you can see the first entry there is the system operator, Reps. Good bloke, have a chat to him at some stage if you come on this system. Um, weather forecast. Enter the name of a city. Oh well, I'll see if I can get something for where I live, which is D-U-N-E Dunedin. I wonder if I have to spell out New Zealand. I'll just try hitting enter on Dunedin first and see what happens. Uh, it's found it. Dunedin, New Zealand. 17.1 degrees Celsius and it's looking like the next few days are okay, but then it's going to turn to custard. I've got some rain coming. That's pretty cool, eh? Press escape. Come back to the main menu. If we go into, let's have a look at the games area, which is D. And I've got a nice uh, light bar customization here. So if I want to go into um, door party games, so these are hosted games on another server. I've just pressed enter. I'm hoping something's going to happen. Doesn't look like it. Oh no, there we go. And here you go. You see I have the option of logging in via our, our login by the looks of it. I'm just going to follow my nose and press 2. And then I've got an option of a whole bunch of um, door games here. For now I'll press Q to quit back to the BBS. And that's returning me back now. And I will get out of his, this and press Q. That's a quick look at the games area. What's the ANSI gallery look like? I've got a uh, option here to look at a bunch of directories. I'll go into Blocktronics and I can see I've got a number of directories here. We'll go into this one and now I can see ANSI's and you can scroll and see the ANSI's. Nice, so if you're into artwork you can have a look at a whole bunch of ANSI files here that are on display. Page right down, have a quick look at this one. Wow, that's quite long isn't it? Beautiful, really nice artwork. Well done. So, uh, press escape a couple of times, get out of that. If I want to go into the BBS directory I've got the option of looking at all of these different systems 
and you can see quite a bit of customization has been done. There are a number of mods, including this one that have. Uh, this one's by Daryl Perry, aka Griffin from Siberia BBS. He's a very talented fellow who produces a lot of cool mods for Mystic, and this is one of them. This um, BBS Lister. I should install that on my BBS. I'm too busy doing videos and other things to <laughs> work on mine. Um, in the files area, we've got the ability to change areas, I suppose, change group. So if I go G, I've got a nice looking list here. So I'll call up the FSX net. And if I go A for area, this is more of a standard mystic look. So I can look at the uh, utility side and then I'll go L for listing files. This is pretty much stock standard mystic output, just showing me the various files that have been uploaded into this base. Lots of uh, Mystic bulletin board utilities. Just a shout out too to Xcuter or Xcuter, E X Q, sorry X Q T R. That's uh, this chap here. If I press V to view this and press Enter on that, um, this gentleman is based in Greece. He is uh, prolific in terms of his output for Mystic at the moment, and he's producing lots of cool little mods. And this is a, um, a pack actually that allows you to learn about the Mystic programming language. So shout out to you, my friend. That is just awesome work. Um, so we'll escape out of all of that. I'll press Q, I guess it is, to quit back to the main menu. Um, what have we done? We haven't done the message area, so we better have a quick look at that. Uh, join a group. Choose that network. Area change. Main Mystic Discussion, read, new. So, yep, just nice and easy to um, to have a look at what's going on in these message networks. And I think I see it's got uh, into BBS chat. So if I press R, this is the um, well. I f I'm expecting it to be Mystic Relay chat, which is kind of like the um, client that's being used across a number of bulletin boards. So if I go question mark, yep it looks like Mystic Relay Chat is installed. If I go forward slash who on, I'm not getting any commands back so the server may not be running at the moment. We'll quit out of here and the last thing I'll have a quick look at is the web browser because that's caught my attention. So it looks like I can access websites. So let's go into Wikipedia. Wow, haven't played with this before. Um, today's speech articles looks like I can just scroll on down. So what it's doing is it's sucking in the text from this Wikipedia site. And if I wanted to, let's say I want to click on Helen Kelly, then it's going to open up a page on Helen Kelly and I've chosen this one actually deliberately. She's a New Zealander, she died just the other day in my country of lung cancer aged uh, 52 it says, but uh, she was a, a unionist and quite well respected. She did a lot for social rights for people um, on low pay in New Zealand so um, quite a loss I think for people in that union space. If I press escape it looks like I can go file and exit if I really want to exit, yes I do, back to the bulletin board again. Time to say goodbye, so I will go, uh, where is the way out of this? G usually is for goodbye, that didn't work. Um, Q for quit, there we go. And then I can go back to the sprawl, so I'll disconnect. And, the, and we are done. So there you go, just another Mystic system, plenty of customization there and uh, good things to check out. Be sure to um, check that one out, won't you? All the best. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.